On June 10th, WSB TV Atlanta aired a segment on how a local STEM nonprofit is pivoting due to cuts in federal funding. These economic shifts in civic science often go unnoticed, yet they are fundamentally reshaping how organizations operate, who they serve, and how they engage the local communities with science. It's time we center and follow these stories. One federal spending cut slashes funding for programs that fall under the diversity, equity, and inclusion umbrella. And that has some groups reorganizing. Shelter's Lori Wilson spoke with the founder of one nonprofit about how she's making an intentional shift. That's all new at six. Ten years ago, Dr. Maxine Kane founded STEM Atlanta Women, an organization that for a decade is focused on getting more black and brown girls into science, technology, engineering, and math. But since the White House moved to cut federal funding for organizations specifically geared toward diversity, equity, and inclusion, Dr. Kane has been forced to reimagine, rebrand, and expand her sphere of influence. How do we take this change and come up with the new way to serve and support as many scholars as we can. And through her STEM Atlanta workspace in Summer Hill, her board came together, dropped the word women from the title, and added some new programs to appeal to boys and men, including sports analysis, a drone program, and music and tech events. She's even gone so far as to add more neutral colors to what had been all pink branding. We said, you know, we have to scale. And this is an opportunity for us to really spread our wings, scale, and serve all innovative scholars. It's something the Georgia Center for Nonprofits CEO Karen Beaver says is the new reality with the White House's shift on funding DEI programs. For Kane, that meant a $300,000 federal grant was not renewed, and her organization is not alone. Now we get to embrace the amazing men and boys in this center and give them the opportunity to learn and grow as well. STEM Atlanta already had relationships with Nike, the Atlanta Dream, UGA, and more. Kane says now she's looking at this new normal as a fantastic opportunity. Now we get to embrace the amazing men and boys in this center and give them the opportunity to learn and grow as well. Lori Wilson, Channel 2, Action News.